hi, it's Lucy here. I just thought I'd upload a video telling you guys um, what I have in my makeup bag. Um, I, so I got this makeup bag from TK Maxx. It comes in three different sections. It's like a big bag bit to put like all your different products in. A netting part that I like to keep my like palettes, like my naked the naked palette and my Mac palette. And I keep my brushes in this part here. Um, it's so like easy to take when I'm travelling anywhere. This was ten ninety nine previously nineteen ni nineteen pounds ninety five. So you know a good nine pounds off. So it was quite good. And that's from TK Maxx. So if I start off first, um, I use the Benefit Eyes It's Potent Eye Cream. I use that first um, after I've, you know, cleansed and toned my face. I use this un under my eyes first. Um, leave that to soak in. It's it what what this does. It kind of reduces the dark circles, and I it does actually work. I used to have really bad dark circles, and then after a couple of weeks of using this, I really saw a difference. So that's what I put on first. While that's soaking in. I then use, it's a bit grubby, um, the L'Oreal Paris, Paris Studio Secrets Anti-Red Primer and I usually get quite um, pink cheeks so I just put this on my the, my like pink cheek areas um, just as an underneath because it's supposed to reduce them, the, the green colour um, kind of blocks out the red tones so that's what I use next. Then I put on the Erase Paste by Benefit uh, under my eyes to conceal the, the dark circles that aren't really, well, are reduced with the eye cream. And then I put that anywhere else to conceal any blemishes. So that's also really good. After that, I then go on to my foundation and I use the Chanel uh, Vitalumia Aqua. It's been raved about loads recently on YouTube and I heard the hype so I thought I'd give it a go and it really does, it's really great, great coverage, um, the best foundation I've used. I've not tried the Gemma Kid foundation yet um, but I might give it a try but this I think will now be my favourite foundation and it will not be out of my bag ever, so that's good. Then I just um, set the foundation and everything with a powder. I used the Benefit Hello Flawless in Champagne um, colour. I've got a new one. I've, I've almost finished this one. Um, so I used that to set my powder. Then to highlight and contour, well, to contour should I say, I used a sleek face contouring kit. Again, I heard this from a review and then I tried it out because I'd heard of the the brand but I wasn't too sure on it. Um, but yeah, it's, as you can see, it does a pretty good job. Um, well, I like to think so anyway. But yes, definitely one of my new favourites for contouring. So, um, and that was in um, light. And I think, yeah, so that's, so that's good. After that, I do use the highlighter, but I have um, a liquid highlighter I'll show you in a second that I think works better, because it is, it is light, but for me I don't think it highlights enough, I don't know whether it's because it's too like my natural colour, but anyway, to highlight, I use the Hocus Focus um, Soap and Glory, um, it says it's instant visual flaw softening lotion, but I like like to highlight the cheekbones and um my above my eyebrows I used to mix this in with my old foundation that I used to have before I went on to the Chanel one and it was quite good then because it kind of lightens it and makes you all shiny and and stuff kind of the dewy dewy look but I just use this to highlight now um then for blusher wise I use the dandelion by benefit lots of products by benefit I think I went on a massive like haul one time and just 
brought loads of benefit. Um, but it's a really nice shade of kind of pink. It's not too, it's just just right. It just gives you a nice little pink, healthy glow rather than being too bright. Um, it doesn't say, well, it's just in the dandelion colour. Um, so that's really, I really like this. Let's put it on the apples of my cheeks. So after that, I've got the bronzer as well. If sometimes I'll use the bronzer on its own, and I won't uh, won't contour, or I'll just con uh, use the bronzer just to go around these parts and put it on my nose and on top of my forehead. Just do me like that bronzed, um, sun-kissed look. And I use the L'Oreal Paris Mineral Powder Pearls. It's really disgusting the lids. So I'm not going to show you that, but. You know the pearls. I just get my brush in there and swirl it round. You've all seen. You've all seen how they work. Yeah, that's that. So that's all for my face. I reckon. Um. Then I use on my eyes. I use the Urban Decay primer that came with my Urban Decay Naked palette. I do tend to use the Naked palette just because I find that the colours. Are suited to my, they're just so natural and they're suited to my skin type and hair colour. I don't want anything outlandishly crazy, quite natural. I prefer quite natural looking like eye makeup. But yes, use the Urban Decay Naked palette as so many other people do. I just love the colours and the high pigment. I'm going to try this uh, other palette that another, I think it's S. Walker, Sarah Walker. Um, on her channel, she has found this new palette. I think they sell it in Superdrug. Is it M Mew? Something like that. M A U or something. It's a makeup academy. And they've pretty much brought out a palette that uses pretty much the same colours as the Urban Decay palette, but it's so much cheaper. So I think I'm going to use that, try it out, see if what I think of that. I also have. Um, in terms of, um, in terms of eyeshadow, I have Mac, I have Shroom, and I have is it Naked Lunch? Not Naked Lunch. Can't remember. I have these two colours. Again, I've not got a huge Mac collection yet because it's so expensive. So I'm buying them when I've got the money and um, just as a luxury. But again, they're I have quite neutral tones, just so that's cause that's what the style I like. So that's all good. I then use um, Maybelline's gel eyeliner. I don't have don't have it on today, but usually I I put eyeliner on my um, top eyelid just to really set off um, the eyeshadow. And then I use Sleek um, Kajal. Is it Sleek? Yes, their um, their eyeliner um, on my bottom line, or oh, it does both like water lines. It is a tight line, and um, <clears throat> the water line, if you like, put it on your eye, close your eye, and then run it through, and it does it both, which is really good. It, even though it looks kind of like a lipstick, um, <clears throat> it's really good, and I find that it's really dark, um, and it lasts. And if you want that sort of smudgy smoky look then this is quite good because you can kind of blend it and it gives you the um kind of grungy look and then I just finish it off um with Rimmel's Day to Night um a mascara um so I start off with the length first and then I go back and do the volume and it really makes my eyelashes really stand out I really like that <clears throat> finally to set the whole thing off um, from Smash Smashbox, and they have they do a photo set finishing powder, SPS 15. It's this white powder, and basically you just put that all over your face, and it's got something like um, zinc in it, and it's supposed to and prevent sort of the oiliness of um, and the shine. Um, to, obviously, if you've got oily skin type or something like that, it just prevents that, it's supposed to, and I find it does really work. Um, so I use that just to finish the whole thing off, 
and that is that's what's in my makeup bag and that is in a way how I put my makeup on um just another thing um from the glossy box in the nail polish I got um in skinny jean color I'm wearing that today it's a really nice color I think it looks a bit darker on camera it's slightly lighter I uh, so I'm testing that out it's it's really good it's not chipped yet I did only put it on yesterday though so it's not really had chance um and also I went on I went shopping the other day and like I know people complain about teas well they live in the glossy box but I found I only knew that they did either the small little bottles to take to festivals like the sample that people got in the glossy box or the normal so I was really surprised when I went into those boots and I found this it's massive but it's perfect because I just love it just to refresh my hair sometimes um, and I was just like wow in a big bottle so I don't have to spend as much or if I you know I'm less likely to run out it's bigger than my head it's massive but yeah and it's only like one pound more expensive than the smaller bottles so it's definitely worth like buying this one instead of the smaller one you get more product so makes it simple anyway um, I'd really love to know if there's anything you'd like me to video or review. Um, just let me know. Leave a comment or anything. Um, thank you for all for watching, and I shall see you very soon. Bye for now.